Hi, I'm Allison Stewart. Welcome back to Hootie Come Home, an MTV News visit coming to you from the University of South Carolina here in Columbia, where Hootie and the Blowfish will perform on MTV Unplugged in about 20 minutes. In fact, it was the band's idea to come back to South Carolina to tape Unplugged because, after all, they did get their start in the club circuit around here, which got us to thinking, what is the music scene like in Columbia, South Carolina? So we went out to take a look and a listen. You know how you'll hear like about uh, a scene and people will go, the, the Seattle sound or whatever. I'm like, what? That's stupid. Because I mean, why would you want to sound like your friends? You know. Anything can get into my eyes. Bands are recording their own music here in Columbia and, and putting out CDs on their own little independent labels, and they're just taking it all more seriously. You know what I just Hootie ripoffs running around trying to cop on that sound, but uh, you know, overall, everybody's got their own thing. It ranges from you know really obnoxious punk to you know to really great pop bands. The styles of Columbia's bands run the gamut, but they all have something in common: respect for one another. There's a lot of community strength going on between the bands. Everybody wants to help each other out. Bands show up at each other's shows. Last time we played here, there were probably 15 people in the club, and three of them were in Booty and the Blowfish. It's not just high artistic ideals that draw people to Columbia. It's cheap rent and inexpensive recording studios. Welcome to the Jam Room. This is a kind of a mid-budget studio because, as I said, most of the bands here don't have any money, and we have to work pretty closely with them as far as their budget. Any band starting up could can make, you know, could definitely play in clubs. And, and if, it, if it doesn't start out being their main source of living, it definitely could be. Hey, cheap rent, cheap beer. The benefits of the Columbia music scene extend not only to the local artists, but also to any band traveling through. We walked into a radio station. They didn't even know we were coming. We walked into the college station here. Within five minutes, they were playing a song, <laughs> did two interviews with us. When bands come through town, they not only play the club circuit, but they also hit the cool music shop, Manifest Records, which has vinyl, import CDs, and a section devoted to local artists. A lot of the younger kids can't get into clubs. You know, it gives them a chance to like just the come check it out. Friends. Good rock show. The main stages for the music scene are the two rock clubs in town, Rockefellers and the Elbow Room, which cater primarily to students from Hootie's alma mater. Come out with your friends, you know, have something to drink and uh, have a lot of fun, see a band. It's not just background music. It's on the streets, it's in the clubs, it's in the bars. And that was the big lesson for Colombians. The success of Hootie and the Blowfish has excited local fans and big record companies alike proving that their local horizons rise beyond a sold-out keg party. Hootie exploded, and it taught people respect for original music. Before that, people wouldn't pay to see a band in Columbia. But when Hootie exploded, people would take a chance. They'd pay, you know, three bucks to come out to see a band because they might be the next Hootie. Why don't you make somebody else miserable? People are more, are more willing, I think, probably to look at a band from this part of the country right now. Perhaps even more important, Hootie's success has served as inspiration for many of the local musicians. It's helped us out a lot, just knowing that somebody from a town like Columbia <clears throat> can make it big. Sometimes you just get in a rut where you just have a job and, and you play your music because you have to even if you don't get famous, you just have to because it's like grieving. And um, I guess now people think, hey, maybe I am good enough. Maybe I can do it. <laughs> it's just kind of cute. That's what Columbia, South Carolina sounds like now. And we'll all find out what Hootie and the Blowfish sound like unplugged in a very short while. Stick around because we'll have more of my sit-down interview with the band, as well as a look at the making of the very first outdoor unplugged as Hootie Come Home and MTV News Visit continues. And the one.